Set up NordVPN on Netgear Router One of the most popular router manufacturer brands is Netgear, which we run into every day. Unfortunately, these routers do not support VPN connections and that is really unfortunate as many of our users are unable to connect to our service as a result. If you have a Netgear router, the NordVPN team would suggest you to check if your router is supported by DDWRT firmware over here at https slash slash www.ddwrt.com slash wiki slash index.php slash supported underscore devices number Netgear and if it is, we would encourage you to flash your router with it. More information on installation of this firmware can be found http colon slash slash www.dd-wrt.com slash wiki slash index.php slash installation. Afterwards you could simply use slash review the following tutorial on how to connect to NordVPN service with DDWRT firmware. It has been made using this configuration, firmware. DDWRT v 3.0 R27520M, July 17, 15, Kong, Hardware, Netgear WNR3500 LV2. 1. In the DDWRT administrative interface, navigate to Setup Basic Setup. Under Network Address Server Settings, DHCP, set these NordVPN DNS addresses, Static DNS 1 equals 162.242.211.137 Static DNS 2 equals 78.46.223.24 Static DNS 3 equals 0.0.0.0 Default, use DNS mask for DHCP equals checked, use DNS mask for DNS equals checked, DHCP authoritative equals checked, then, save and apply settings. If you're setting up two routers, you should change the second router local IP address to be different than the main routers. In this case main router's IP is 192.168.1.1, while the one we're connecting to NordVPN server is accessible via 192.168.2.1. 2. Navigate to Setup IPv6. Set IPv6 to Disable, then Save and Apply Settings. Note. This is a recommended step to make sure you get no IP leaks. 3. Navigate to Service VPN. Under Open VPN Client, set Start Open VPN Client equals Enable, to see the options necessary for this configuration. Then set the following, Server IP slash Name equals us333.nordvpn.com. If you prefer to use a specific server, you can find the full list of locations here, https slash slash nord.com slash servers port equals 1194 tunnel device equals ton tunnel protocol equals udp encryption cipher equals es 256 cbc hash algorithm equals sha1 user pass authentication equals enable username password equals your nordvpn credentials note if the username and password fields are missing Fill in the remaining fields and proceed to step 3.1, Advanced Options equals Enable, this will enable additional options, TLS Cipher equals None, LZO Compression equals Yes, NAT equals Enable, the options not mentioned in this guide should be kept with default. Values 3.1 Optional, depending on step 3. If the username and password fields are missing, go to Administration Commands, and enter this code, echo your username your password slash tmp slash open slash user dot conf slash usr slash bin slash kilal open slash usr slash spin slash open config slash tmp slash open slash open dot conf root up slash tmp slash open slash root up dot sh down pre slash tmp slash open slash root down dot sh daemon replace your username and your password with your respective NordVPN account credentials. Click Run Commands, and return to the previous VPN tab. Then add this code in the additional config section of services VPN open VPN, auth user pass slash tmp slash password dot text 4. In additional config box either enter or copy slash paste these commands, 
persist key persist ton tls client remote cert tls server 5. Download the CA and TLS certificates from your downloads area, which can be found in your account on https slash slash nord.com slash profile slash. You should then unzip it using your extractor, winrar, 7zip, etc., so you see CA and TLS auth certificates folder. 6. Open the ca.crt file of the server you chose to use, in our case, us 333 underscore nord underscore com underscore ca dot crt with a text editor such as notepad 7 copy its contents into the ca cert field be sure the entire text gets pasted in including begin certificate and end certificate lines 8 open the tls dot key file of the server you chose to use in our case us 333 underscore nord underscore com underscore tls dot key with a text editor such as notepad 9 copy its contents into the tls auth key field be sure the entire text gets pasted in including begin open vpn static key v1 dash 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 and end open vpn static key v1 dash 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 lines 10 after entering all those data save and apply settings 11. To verify the VPN is working, navigate to status open VPN under state, you should see the message, client, connected success. 12. To create a kill switch, you can go into administration scripts, and enter this script, 1 underscore if equals nvram get 1 underscore if a siptables i forward ibr 0 o dollar 1 underscore if j reject reject with icmp host prohibited iptables i forward ibr 0 ptcp o dollar 1 underscore if j reject reject with tcp reset iptables i forward ibr 0 pudp o dollar 1 underscore if j reject reject with udp reset then select save firewall go into administration management reboot router if you run into any issues Please screenshot us your router's VPN configuration page together with the connection log which can be found under status open VPN tab.